Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to talk about how COVID-19 is a disease that is more than just a infection in the lung. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dr. Han. I love to produce review video on different online courses, science and medical information. I also like to share learning tips and tricks for students for their personal and academic development. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you hit the button down below. So today we are going to talk about how COVID-19 is a disease that is beyond and respiratory infections, i.e. they're infecting your system that is beyond your lung. We'll see how and why it happens. Without further talking, let's go to the screen. All right, guys, today we are looking at another update on COVID-19. Now, this news is not exactly new, but it's just to, um, to fill in the gap of information that I've been providing. So the topic of the day is to say this highlight on uh, be, the COVID-19 being not only a respiratory disease. OK, let's take a look of what is behind this story. Now, first of all, I have a disclaimer. As always, this is my opinion, my summary of publicly available scientific information. All right, and it is not meant to be any uh, advice on regarding treatment, diagnosis, or prevention of any diseases. And if I mention any commercial company in my presentations, I have no ties, no commercial, uh, no monetary tie to those company. But uh, of course, this case in today's presentation, I don't have anything like that. All right, so what uh, we have to trace back a couple months, okay, of this whole pandemic back in a little uh, bit during March and April, right? A lot of patients have uh, infected with COVID-19, uh, uh, having a symptoms, including some uh, acute kidney failure and lead to some organ damages. So and on top of that there's also a lot of blood clots forming they are mysterious and uh, one symptoms that, that you can see is a something called the COVID toes okay or painful or red purple digits that is on patients that are hospital hospitalized and infected with the disease and you also see young patients die from um, strokes okay they have no prior incidents of they have no cardiovascular histories but they die from a stroke now a lot of these um, symptoms are kind of uh, we call it a second phase of COVID-19 so uh, it's about one week or so after hospitalizations and the problem with this these uh, second phase symptoms is that about 40% of patients that die from COVID-19 are because of cardiovascular complications so about half you know almost about half of those are you know because of that all right so let's take a deeper look of what actually happened here i have a graph okay an anatomy graph of your respiratory systems from the nose down to the lung and that green little dot here is uh a illustration of the virus now the virus goes into your body through your respiratory tract okay through your nose and through okay and all go all the way down to the tip of the end uh, of the lung okay what are the tip of the lungs okay let's take a, a, a enlarged view of what's going on here is that showing you the tip of the lung so called the air sac or alveoli all right again that little green dot uh, is the uh, illustration for the virus the SARS-CoV-2 virus now when SARS-CoV-2 virus enters the lung it invades the cells in the air set that transfer oxygens to the blood and um, the surrounding here is the little motion showing you how this uh, virus get all the way down to the tip of your lung so called now look at these air sacs okay they are lined with blood vessels because that is the purpose you do oxygen exchange change now what is the downside of that is these uh, these viruses can go through these uh, cells uh, air sac cells and go into our circulations they can invade these blood vessels and go into our circulation and spread through our body 
Right. So it once it goes into the um, blood vessels, and and while it's spreading through your body, it will also infect the cells called the endothelial cells. Now. These cells are uh, the cells that line the interior of the blood vessel. So they will invade those cells, attack those cells, and causing these endothelial cells to have damage, and some of them will die. Now, these cells are responsible for the integrity of your blood vessel. When these cells die, you will have a leakage okay, in your blood vessels. Your body send, when your body sends leakage in your blood vessel, the, the next response is to activate it and patch, okay, and patch those leakage. And by patching those, you will form blood clot, okay, you're forming internal blood clot. All right, now let's look at this um, 3D rendering of uh, the virus. This is very crude, okay. Now all these little spike there, all these little spike are responsible for recognizing or binding, okay, uh, to the ACE2 receptors that are on cells, different cells. And endothelial cells happen to have those receptors as well. So they are the target area uh, for the virus. All right, guys, here we are looking at the spike protein of the coronavirus. So this entire molecule here is one spike protein. It is a homotrimer, means it has contained three uh, of these units where they are identical. Now within each of these units, there is this uh, two-part combined S1, okay, the blue one, or the S2, the, the red one. Now, in order for this uh, spike protein bind to a cell and then enter the cell, this S2 part of this spike uh, protein will need to be cut by an enzyme or a protein called furin. Now, furin is present in almost all of our cells, and therefore, as long as the cell express the ACE2 uh, receptor, uh, this protein will be cut, okay? And then, therefore, the SARS-CoV-2 virus can enter the cell and infect the cell. That's why it can infect cells that is beyond um, in the respiratory system, including our endothelial cell, which is rich in the ACE2 um, receptor and as well as having expression of the furin uh, protein. Now this feature is unique to SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is not seen, which was not seen in the SARS, uh, first SARS virus. All right, so coming down to the take home message, okay, is that coronavirus could be a blood vessel disease in addition to respiratory infection. Now, it will attack your lung cells and will also attack your endothelial cells or the cells that line your blood vessels, causing blood clot formations and leading to up to 40% of death. So it is, that's why this disease is so different than uh, the previous SARS the back in 2003 and other H1N1 flu viruses. Now here are the resources that I utilized for today's presentation. The, the, the link uh, is down in the description below. You can go uh, check it out. So if you learned something from today's video, please give me a thumbs up and a like. And if you want more information re in regarding to COVID-19 and other learning tips and tricks, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again on Tuesday. Bye.